guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new today's video is going to be a clean and organized with me as you guys can see my freezer right here is completely destroyed there is so much stuff stuffed in there so it is time to go ahead and clean it out i'm going to first start off by literally pulling everything out of my freezer and then i will go through anything and see if it is freezer burned old or just needs to be tossed out and then quickly place everything back in before it melts i did go ahead and wipe everything down with some Lysol wipes first and then a multi-purpose spray. I did want to take out some of the bins to wash in my sink, but I could not get them out. I have to like literally move my entire fridge out of this corner and I could not move it on my own. So I was not able to get the tubs out to clean the sink, but I did give it a good wipe down with some Lysol wipes and also a multi-purpose spray. I hate all this overthinking oh. Alright you guys, and this is all of the food laid out that was in my freezer. I can't believe how much stuff was in the freezer. I have so many doubles of stuff. Like I just ordered from Whole Foods. I didn't know we already had a bag of Brazi Bites, so I just ordered another one. Also, I have like three boxes of jasmine rice because I keep forgetting that I have some in the freezer that's hidden all the way in the back. And then I have a ton of waffles. There's probably like three boxes of waffles. So I'm gonna go through everything, anything that has freezer burn or is expired, I'm gonna go ahead and toss out. So let's go ahead and go through everything. So now that I have showed you everything that was in my freezer, I'm gonna go through everything that's on my kitchen counter and see if it has freezer burn or see if it's expired and get rid of it. I did have a pretty large bag of things that I had to toss out. I also decided to go ahead and pull some things out of their boxes that only had a few things left in the box just to try to make a little more room in my freezer. So that is what I'm gonna do, just go through everything and try to condense things down so I can have some room in my freezer. So I guess at one point of me cleaning, I had a sticker stuck on my butt and I didn't realize it until I was editing this video that I have a sticker stuck on my butt, but I was going to edit this part out, but decided just to keep it in because it is funny. It does fall off in about a minute, so it doesn't stay stuck on me, but I thought it was funny that I had the sticker stuck on me and I didn't even realize it. But as you guys can see, I am now wiping down the freezer. I am going to be using some Lysol wipes first to try to disinfect the freezer. And then after, I'm going to be going in with a Mrs. Myers multi-purpose spray and also a microfiber cloth to give it a second wipe down. Oh, oh, oh. And now that the freezer is completely wiped out, I'm going to start placing everything back in the freezer and I'm going to try to put it back in as organized as possible and have things in certain areas. So like all the way in the bottom, I'm trying to keep like all of my raw frozen meats. The second one, I'm trying to keep all of like the kids frozen meals like chicken nuggets and tacos and stuff like that and so on.
guys. So this is how it is looking for the after. I do want to buy like maybe a few organizers to organize it a little better, but it definitely looks much better now. Everything is not falling out. So over here on the door, I just have some of my Halo Top ice creams. And then down here, I have the kids' popsicles in this, as you guys can see, is broken. So I didn't want to put anything too heavy there. So I just put some popsicles. Then I have some more ice cream here and then my um, little super fruit packs. I like to make these like for snacks or lunch. And then I have a ice pack in the back. Down here is just a bunch more of the ice packs. All the way down here is our meats. We have some chicken and then ground chicken. We need to buy a few more meats this week. Um, here are the kids like chicken nuggets. So we have a few different ones. We have these Earth's Best chicken nuggets. We have these gluten-free ones, and then we just have some dinosaur ones. Up here is like quick lunches um, and just stuff that we can warm up. So I have a cauliflower pizza, some of these taquitos. We have, I think, some type of chicken down here. We have mozzarella bites or, yeah, mozzarella sticks, some chicken, tacos, frozen jasmine rice. Madison loves those little pizza bites back there. So and then I have some of my cauliflower back there. And then up here is um, like all breakfast. So we have some of these bacon um, little egg burritos. We did have some turkey ones and sausage ones, but I guess we're out. And then a bunch of different waffles. We have some more waffles in the back. And then all the way up here, we have just two frozen veggies, which is just some corn on the cob. And then these, what is this? This is butternut squash noodles. And then all the way in the back, I have my bras and bites. So, that is how it looks. Definitely looks better than before, but like I said, I'm gonna try to get some type of organizer to organize everything a little better. So now that the freezer is complete, I am moving on to one of my junk drawers in my kitchen. I'm going to clean it out. So I used to only have one junk drawer in my kitchen and somehow I magically now have two. So I was cleaning out this one. This one has a lot of the kids like paperwork from school and also a lot of random drawings that my kids like to draw in color. Just a lot of random stuff. So I'm gonna go through this drawer really quickly and clean it out and throw out a lot of things that were just stuffed in there that we did not need that were just like old paperwork or old drawings. So I'm gonna go ahead really quickly, clean it out, and I'm also gonna be wiping it down. This is the kids school pictures i still have not sent out to my family but i thought i would show you guys really quickly because they turned out so cute Last thing I want to get done on this day was some laundry. I always have laundry to get done. So on this day, I had some of the kids' laundry I need to fold and put away. And I think I also had another load of laundry to do as well. But I was folding all the kids' laundry and I also was picking out their clothes for that week for school. Yes, I am that mom that likes to pick out the kids' clothes for the entire week for school. It's just one less thing I will have to worry about in the morning. So I'm going to be folding, putting away all their clothes, and also choosing all the outfits they will be wearing for that week week for school and if it needs to be ironed I usually iron it as well. There's not a single day that passes without you on my mind not even one minute can end up before you come around I yearn for the days when I see your face here before me I long for the time to hold me in your arms Whoa. I wish that you were here to give me everything I want But I know that life's unfair and we can't always have it
yes, I am that mom that lays out all my kids' clothes for the entire week for school. So I picked out all of Madison's outfits. So this is what she's going to wear for Monday. It's just a really dark purple long sleeve shirt with a gold moon and some skinny jeans. Tuesday, she's just going to wear a Peppa Pig shirt with these. They're kind of like sweatpants. They're like fleece sweatpants. It came in a set. So that's what she'll wear Tuesday. Wednesday, she's going to wear this long sleeve unicorn dress. It has a cute little tutu with these leggings underneath. And then Thursday, she's going to wear this leopard shirt with some jeans. And then Friday, just this Cat and Jack um, long sleeve cream shirt with like navy blue hearts. And then these jeans. I'm not sure what shoes she will wear with everything. I know the leopard ones, she'll wear her new leopard shoes. Let me show you guys. Um, She'll wear that with this outfit so she'll probably wear that and then I'm not sure with um other shoes I'll match with everything else but that is how I usually lay everything out there's not a single day that passes without you on my mind not even one minute can end up before you come around I yearn for the days when I see your face here before me Hey guys so we're getting towards the end of this clean and organized with me so i want to jump on here really quickly to say thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it and found some motivation from this clean and organized with me please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell i would love to have you be a part of my youtube family as always thank you so much for watching today's video i love you guys and i will see you guys next time